Hey people, so we've got the Lenovo ThinkPad P17 here, it's a review video. Um, before we start, please do subscribe and uh, like the channel if you enjoy the content. It's, uh, it's really uh, valuable for us to um, get that sort of feedback. Towards the end of 2020, Lenovo has announced this along with the P15 and other laptops. So on paper, Cooling is an area of focus on this model. I think the P73, uh, the predecessor of this model, it um, could have improved there. So I think that's one of the areas where it's hoping to address. And we'll look at that. Um, so everything else on this machine, it's um, you know, it starts uh, quite um, reasonably accessible price for a workstation. So spec-wise, this laptop can go from more affordability focused um, i5 plus um, the T1000 Quadru. Um, up to the flagship RTX 5000 plus Xeon and um, RAM-wise goes up to 128. So it's um, very much a flagship laptop in that sense. Um, one of the constraints, it seems to be that um, there's only two M2 slots. I guess you might be saying, oh, that's plenty. But I guess for workstation of this um, level, um, I think some people prefer a little bit more. But I think that's the thing I can think of. This is a 3.5 kilos. Okay, looking on the inside, the privacy shutter can be a little bit hard to open unless you press the right part where there's a ridge bit. Um, so on the inside, you see the speaker grills. Some of the dust over time might catch um, in the area. But on the inside, you no longer have the activities indicator for the hard drive and the Wi-Fi, if I remember correctly. And uh, there's also no more um, P17 um, logo here. A little bit cleaner a design. Um, some people might miss the activity LED, but you know, it's a, this is a progress. Um, on the inside, the material is reasonably pleasant. It's rubberized, it doesn't feel really rough. Fingerprint sensor still. You are starting to see some of the manufacturers starting to integrate this into the power button, but I think at the moment, on a bigger workstation, that's perfectly fine. Just have a feel of the lid. Yeah, it feels quite solid. Um, it's um, very little give, and once you move it, it stabilizes quite quickly. Um, I think that's what we can think of. What we'll probably gather here is um, the battery is very much um, internal. So you'd have to remove the whole cover, not just the tiny um, user service door. Um, it's um, considered a sealed battery. Just here to take a look at the exterior of the P17. So we've got it here. Um, it's probably a little bit hard to imagine the size. So we'll give you a quick comparison. So we've actually got an X1. So uh, this is like Dell's version of the XPS 15. So just massive difference on each side. What this has um, a Lenovo to do is um, give it more beefy cooling systems. So let's say you're paying for i9 or a Xeon processor. It's really nice to be able to get closer to that level of performance without the heat management getting in the way. On the whole, I think the chassis is um, incredibly robust. The lid is really robust. I think even in the center, it's still very little gift. So it's um, very, very robust machine. Very nice. Let's take a look at the hinge. So I think the hinge, it goes all the way back. This is quite nice. Not entirely sure what you'll be doing. Sort of, Can you open it with one hand? Let's give it a try. Yeah, you can see the laptop twisting slightly. So probably not far off it, but probably not a good idea. So two hands. And um, on the base cover, I'm not sure if you can see, there's actually quite, um, quite a thick rubber stripe here, and um, also here and here. I think reading comments online, some people have been having a slight um, unit specific um, glitch where it's not completely flat, but I think that's quite, um, um, but I think that's quite rare. I think this unit, it's, um, yeah, it, this unit is very flat, thankfully. I think the only question is whether these rubber bits are durable or not. The effect of it, what it's doing is allowing the laptop to drop more air from underneath the laptop. Uh, so ideally, use it on a flat surface if you can. Okay, let's take a look at the ports. So on the right hand side, smart card and um, SD card. Really great for the SD card is still here. Two USB, three type A. And um, the heat vent um, is, um, you know, it gets in the way slightly if you're right-handed, but that's um, that's life. Um, 
on the back, Ethernet, USB-C um, to Thunderbolt, and um, the charging port. It's a little bit strange to have the charging port right at the center, but it's, um, I think that's a new design. On the left-hand side of the laptop, you have um, HDMI 2 and um, another USB type A port. The SIMS slot seems to be optional, so it's if you didn't configure with it, then you're stuck, it's sealed. But if you did um, configure the laptop with it, then you know, it's there. And also lastly, the audio jack. So solid set of ports. I think on the old model, you had one service door, which um, you could have just removed, um, then you got access to some of the stuff. Um, I think now it's um, a little bit different. Now it's the user serviceable part has shrunk. Um, so it's a 2M2 and um, two RAM slots here and uh, two RAM slots under the cover and uh, 4G card and um, on the inside another two slots under the keyboard as well as the Wi-Fi card and the 4G card. So you would have to remove the keyboard to reach that. To see more of the laptop, um, in addition to this cover, you would have to remove the whole base um, to see more, for instance, the GPU, the CPU, heatsink, etc. One interesting observation, so this is a new model and um, this is an old one. If we had to quickly clean the lid because they will get um, fingerprints on them, then if you use a microfiber cloth, can't really hear anything on the old one. Interesting, so it's, the case material is a little bit different. So um, when you clean this one, it feels um, a little bit more rugged. This one feels more smooth, the old P73. So I would probably say it's easier to drop the P73 than the new one because the new one is more rugged. Okay, um, so from just briefly looking at it, um, I think the P17 is probably going to attract the fingerprint potentially a little bit less than before, but it's probably too early to say. Um, it's useful to have a microfiber cloth anyway, just so you can tidy it up um, after the fingerprint gets on them. Hey people, so this is uh, internal footage from the laptop Zoom uh, webcam. So OBS capture highest quality. We've um, simply made it full screen. Um, as you can see, it's a fixed focus lens. Um, there is, so if you do move from the front and back, don't expect to pin sharp focus. But at the same time, you're never going to be too much out of focus, if that makes sense. I'm just trying to move across the frame to see if there's any frame drops. It seems to be okay because at the moment we're in a bright office setting. You'll hear some background noise. I'm not sure how much you can pick up from the mic or if it comes with that out. Um, as you can see, the light, so this is a ceiling light. It um, seems to do an okay job, but it blows the details, if that makes sense. And also the facial features, it's um, it's very slightly blurry, even in um, daytime setting. <laughs> The speakers, they work in this laptop. It's a little bit less impressive than what we might see on some laptops, for instance, HP or the Dell competitors. Bass is a little bit missing on this model. There's some, but there's a desire for more. The mid is quite clear and the high frequency generally seems to be okay. It's not too fatiguing. External speaker or headphone will be something you probably want. And you can see the loudness here. This speaker is um, going to be helpful if you're running presentations, but it's not going to be too loud. Okay, um, so we've got the P17 here. So the keyboard, it's the same physical keyboard as the smaller sibling of the P15. That laptop, um, as we've um, noticed in North Hansung, there's some flex in the left hand side, where if you press it, there's almost a little bit rattling noise. Thankfully in the P17, this is less of an issue because I think um, it's a bigger chassis, it's a little bit more stability. If you nitpick, then you press something, for instance, at the center, which is better supported, and then you press the letter A, you sort of notice a little bit um, more unevenness here still. But, you know, it's much better, it seems, than the P15. The P17 is probably only average, I would probably say, for a workstation. This is because when you press down the keys, the keyboard travel, it feels really light. And when you hit the dampening at the end to signal, oh, oh, no more travel. 
it just feels really artificial. Whereas the older key, it had a little bit more resistance in the key action. It's just more satisfying. And also when you have a little bit more resistance, it gives the impression that it's coming back up more quickly. So that key, it just feels more pleasant to type on. And it's also a little bit more predictable to use. So you get used to it a lot more quickly, make less typos. Sometimes a predictable keyboard with predictable response, it just lets you not worry about it. For me personally, the P17 didn't hit that sort of um, um, pleasantness or daily use good enough test. But that's only because, you know, at this price, the expectation is sky high, if that makes sense. So we don't want to sound as if we're nitpicking. Um, it's still an okay keyboard. It's just not necessarily one that you would expect in this price, in this level of machine. It's, um, but to be honest, if given the chance, I would really prefer this machine, but with an older keyboard, but I, I know that's not possible. I mean, it's almost as if, um, if you remember back in the days, you used to have to stick something underneath the keyboard just to reduce the flex. The top left corner is a little bit hot, but I think most of the user accessible part is kept within a reasonable temperature. On the base cover, you can see some hot spots when it's under heavier workload, but I think that is quite um, quite manageable if you have it on a desk. Here we've got the CPU plus GPU workload. It gets a little bit more toasty, same positions, and as you can see, the heat intensifies a little bit more. And I think firmware here is being throttled back a little bit because I think GPU generally can detect the firmware benchmarking, so they usually clock down. So this is probably not the worst case scenario. Because every panel is different, although we've got the 4K, some panel might have a little bit more IPS glow around the edge. We're doing quite well on this panel ourselves. It's a um, really, really stunning color. And if you just look at red, generally speaking, it's really nice. It would have been nice to have a Full HD 500 nits option though. But at the moment you only have the Full HD 300 nits and um, 4K 500 nits. Having a dedicated graphics can definitely help to speed up the export. I think we've got three and a half minutes to export to 10 minutes footage uh, in 4K in Premiere. It's a reasonable speed. In this testing, I think we've quite easily seen for a few times where we were literally draining the 230 watts charger um, allowance. By contrast, Dell has a 240 watts charger and um, you can also get to 330 watts on some of the models, I think. So it's um, um, it's definitely probably something for Lenovo to have a think about, maybe including a bigger charger for the really high-end models, just so they can run as intended. I think it's um, it might be that in the future, if Intel becomes more power efficient, we wouldn't be having this chat. But it's um, when you have a processor as powerful as this, we've really rarely seen it going above you know, five gigahertz, it's promised 5.3, but you know, this is quite nitpicky. Anyway, we hope this has helped. Um, overall, really good laptop. Um, it's um, slightly let down by the keyboard, um, very similar otherwise um, to the P73, but thankfully has improved cooling. So I think that's all I can say. Um, the only hope in the next generation is um, that um, it has more M2 slots and that probably we can get a bigger charger, hopefully, please. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Um, any other comment, just drop it in the comment section.